Confirming lies. Weisselberg testifies in Trump org trial the magazine that Donald Trump has been railing at for days is now part of the evidence. Alan Weisselberg, longtime CFO of the Trump Organization, took the stand Tuesday morning in Donald Trump's financial fraud case. Weisselberg took a plea deal last year for his role in other financial schemes, and one of the conditions was his testimony, but even on the witness stand, he seemed to downplay the wrongdoing and his knowledge. For instance, he was pressed on his knowledge that a triplex apartment that Trump owned was reported as almost three times its actual size, 30k square feet instead of 10,996.39, and said he didn't remember being told that the number was wrong, as reporter Adam Klasfeld shared from the courtroom. The government proceeded to show piece after piece of evidence, a 1994 document disclosing the actual size, a 2016 email from a Forbes reporter. Asking for clarification of the discrepancy, a 2017 communication from Forbes correcting the size, and yet another communication from Forbes citing the 1994 document, among others, proving that Weisselberg had been told the number was false or questioned about it numerous times. There's an irony in Forbes, and specifically the magazines. Fact-checking for its list of 400 richest people in the United States, providing the evidence for Trump's potential undoing. His former attorney has said rising on that list was one of the reasons Trump falsified his net worth, and since he fell off the list last week, Trump has thrown multiple social media tantrums attacking Forbes, claiming they're a tool of China and are in cahoots with Attorney General Letitia James to keep him out of office. In fact, another piece of evidence entered into the record is a Forbes article from 2017, titled, Donald Trump has been lying about the size of his penthouse, it could have been fair warning for the then-president to issue corrections before the false financial statements were acted on in civil and criminal court. Remember, his company was already found guilty last year of criminal tax fraud. Still, instead, Trump addresses it this way, in a social media post reading. Time equals, 400 ms, greater than, so failing Forbes magazine is controlled by communist China. No wonder they go out of their way to write badly about me, and work with the corrupt and incompetent racist Attorney General of New York, Peekaboo James. Could never figure it out until now. It is a China propaganda machine, exposed, and who's been smarter and tougher on China than me. Time equals, 400 ms, greater than it seems that the former president is still choosing to blame those who call out his lies, rather than acknowledge his own fault in perpetuating them. Stephanie Basil Steph Basil is a news writer who covers politics and theocracy, always aiming for a world free from extremism and authoritarianism. Follow Steph on Twitter at I'm Just Sign up for all of her stories to be delivered to your inbox here. Latest posts.